anytime we talk about future content, we got to mention just spoilers. There's going to be some spoilers ahead in the video today for you guys. Talking about most feared and some of the stuff coming up. Uh, EA is doing a season three reveal stream tonight. I'm not going to cover it because it should be fairly basic and we'll just get to it tomorrow. As long as we also have, what's it called? Team of the week, angry runs. Maybe not a spoiler with angry runs coming back, but Tyler Algier won it this week. So fantastic. Let's talk about most feared is coming, So we're going to get to the spoiler parts, but I want to just mention a few things here. And again, I mentioned this, I'm saying this to you guys, but I also say this because I know that there are people at EA that watch the videos. So let's talk about it. Uh, when BNDs came to be a thing in the game, it's because a lot of people were farming accounts. And what that means is they would play on one account and trade coins and cards and stuff over to other accounts. So then we got rid of the trade block. We got BNDs instead of Nats. Nats was non-auctionable, non-tradable cards, but you could put them into sets. They gave us BNDs instead with the illusion that, hey, the rewards would be better. And they were for a little bit. And then this year, in my personal opinion, they've taken a massive dive. Uh, in the past, you would get maybe at level 14 or 16 here as an example, a champion. Would have been an 89 overall B and D card, something along those lines. A good one, fine, good. You're giving me a good card. Now we keep getting these plus B and D packs, and the problem with the plus B and D packs is they suck. The odds are terrible at best. They're terrible at best. They're not good. They were okay with season of boom, and then since then they've been really, really bad. Um. So I say this because like, hey, just kind of putting it out there, you going forward, rewards by definition of the word reward should be good and feel rewarding. Okay. It's not rewarding for some of this stuff at minimum. What I would like is to see a slight change. If you're if like if you're really kind of like hard up on it, slight change. So out of all my B and D packs I got for something like Gridiron Guardians, we see I got Moray, Clap, Darnold, Taekwon Lewis. I also have multiple duplicates, which I had to quick sell along the way because what am I gonna do with them? I can't put them in sets. And if it's a B and D card and you're still giving us a quarter value of the card. It's just not good enough, right? 425 training is worth 13,000 coins. What are we doing? Uh, so we got to do a lot better with that going forward for sure. And I say that even though it looks like some of the stuff with most feared is going to be okay. Now, when we talk about most feared and what's coming, we obviously don't know every little detail and aspect of it, but I want to mention some of this stuff to you guys. When EA does something bad, I feel like we have an obligation to call it out. The same way if they do something good, we have an obligation to call it out. I'm not really passing any judgment on most feared until we see, get our hands on it. But let's talk about what is coming with it. These are indeed the spoilers now. Because some of it actually looks pretty good on paper for now. Again, until we get our hands on it, you can't judge it. But we could be excited about what it could be potentially. Gentlemen, it is Taco Tuesday. On prize picks, so you want to get in on it. It's going to be discounts all day long. They are time sensitive, so you need to make sure you use them before they go away. If you're not on prize picks and you want to go check it out, by all means, go click the link in the description or download the app. But either way, you got to make sure you use code CC when you sign up. That way, after you play your first lineup, they're going to give you $50 in free credit. I had a pretty good weekend. Not as good as my man right here. 20 into 1400. Little jealous, but congratulations. I love seeing that. Anytime you guys win, make sure you send me those uh, over on Twitter slash X. Again, thank you guys for all your support with prize picks using code CC. So many of you guys, uh, it makes me so happy to see that. And again, we win as, as much as I can. I'm not a pro, but I do my best. Let's go check out the rest of the stuff today and you guys have a great day. Enjoy the video. All right, so here is uh, stuff from Mutt Leaks. 
we're gonna we don't always know all the way to get some of the cards the overall the cards the stats of the cards uh but there's a lot of stuff coming we don't necessarily know if this is all for part one or whatnot um if you're like me you've been playing a lot with sort of a theme team maybe it's your favorite team maybe it's to make a best theme team in the game uh however you want so we're gonna see some of these cards here and we're getting to these versions of the cards brock purdy uh, I guess it's Carlton Davis, uh, in friends here, right? Again, you're like, oh, like that's kind of a weak set. But again, I, th I think this is a really deep promo is at least what it looks like, because then we have other cards right here, right? Jamar Chase and Max Crosby and stuff. Again, these all feel like higher overall cards. Very cool. LTDs, AJ Brown. Micah Parsons. Now, I'm not a big fan of getting another Micah Parsons. We just literally had one last month, but um, he's going to do what they're going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to focus on. I think you should have picked X Y Z player for my theme team. Your however it goes. I'm not, I'm, I'm not focused on that. I'm not focused on the names of the cards. I, all that matters is how good the card is. Uh, and then we see some legends: Antonio Gates, Champ Bailey, uh, Will Shields, Tom Brady. Again, cards coming in. So it looks like there's a lot of high overall cards coming, which is good. We like content levels. It looks like there's going to be a draft event where you can earn rewards such as 90 overall most feared champions. Again, sounds good on paper. How many wins does it take? 342? Hope, I hope not. Hope not. Right? I hate that. Um, and then there's going to be... It's the 13th anniversary. So you're going to be able to get Taysom Hill or a mystery player and upgrade them to 90 overall. Again, that sounds good. Taysom Hill looks like it's wide receiver, potentially, or other positions. Again, they got the, some Brock Purdy. Some, some of this stuff, look at the abilities. It is what it is. Not focused on that. Uh, alternate currency, you guys probably saw that. And then they also have not card arts for Randy Moss and Vaughn Miller. Okay, cool. And then with the Taysom Hill, this is kind of what we were talking about, is... Looks like there's four versions of him, and then the mystery player is like a defensive version of someone who's kind of like out of position ish. And sounds it uh, stuff like this is interesting. I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Again, cool. The A will explain it. Uh, then they have something here. Most feared field pass brings multiple fear upgradable players. Diablo getting to 90 overall. Diablo's a great card. Uh, some of the little things that Mutt Leaks talks about when it's like, this is how you're going to upgrade this card. I'm not saying that he's wrong. I'm not saying that he's right. I'm just saying that like, that's one of those work in progress things that could may not be the way it is. You know what I'm like? Maybe this isn't how you do it. Maybe this is how you do it. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. But again, knowing that, hey, there's a potential here. And again, we see these little boosts right here that they have on here as well. So again, like, it seems like this is going to be sort of in depth. And this is kind of what I want from my Mutt con. I want more in depth content. Uh, they've got this Grady Jarrett, which says win five solo battles. Is that it to get a 90 overall? You have to win five solo battles. That would be a pretty good reward, right? This Kenneth Walker win five solo seasons games gets up to a 91. It, that's true. Oh, missed that slightly. Okay, like some of this stuff, again, it looks like it could be good. We'll find out tomorrow when they do the reveals. Uh, and then the last thing was like, there's a Landon Dickerson here, and it says it's three parts. Three parts, right? So a lot of this seems like it has some really good potential for what most feared is going to be. Okay. Now, again, some of the names are great. Some of the names, maybe not so great. What we need to focus on with this, what he needs to focus on is getting people to stay on the game. Now I know a lot of what Mutt is and what Madden is, is playing the game online. I get it. What the game is really lacked is other things to keep you on the game stuff in the stores building for the alternate currencies and all that. I actually think the last house rules of the event they did, uh, this one super plays was super, super good. They did a great job with it. It was fast. It was easy to get done. Um, easy for me, at least I should say, 
uh, to get up to 30 wins. Again, I got to my 30 wins. Absolutely. I wanted that reward. Not going to play it anymore. So a lot good kind of going on there. This has to be like a saving promo for Mutt. It does. We can beat around the bush, but Mutt's been, it felt kind of stale this year. It felt kind of stale. If, if it feels that way to me, it feels that way to you. And that's what I want uh, things to actually be true. Now, again, we have season three tomorrow. They're going to reveal some of that stuff. I could talk about all the things I want them to do. Um, I, I would like to see a little bit more with some of the stuff, but I also don't hate with the way it is. Uh, I would like more XP. I know there's a lot of people that have done every objective. Every objective. But they kind of like started late. And so they can't get to level 50. I feel like that's weird. I feel like logging on every day should help you get there faster, but you shouldn't have to log on every day to get there. Does that make sense? Um, and then similar, like with the store, one thing I really don't like that they did was how they changed and made tokens cheaper as the season went along, as we got the new versions and new overalls. I didn't like that at all. I hope they don't do that again. Just let people go upgrade stuff as they want. They want to spend all their tokens today. Let them spend their tokens today. If they don't, then they don't. Okay. That's up to them. Uh, but most feared has potential. That's the most I'm going to say. It has potential. Will it be the savior of Mutt this year? I don't know. We'll obviously be checking it out. We'll check out season three. We'll be checking out season three uh, on Cut as well this week. Lots of fun stuff coming. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Have fun. I'm out. Peace.